Amino acids play an important role in your body. There are specific processes that your body do which are crucial and uniquely done because of their involvement. For this reason, they were called building blocks of life together with proteins. Your body is dependent on this due to the important role it serves all the time. Deficiency of these acids in your body may result to some disorders that may not be comfortable with you. In this video, you will learn about the end results of being deficient in amino acids. And if you are experiencing these, then it's time for you to consult your physician for physical examinations or checkup based on their medical advice. Stay tuned. Proteins are made up of amino acids, which are a type of molecule. The basic components of life are amino acids and proteins. Amino acids remain after proteins have been digested or broken down. Amino acids are used by the human body to create proteins, which aid in the following functions. Break down food. Grow. Repair body tissue. Perform many other body functions. The body can also utilize amino acids as a source of energy. Amino acids are divided into three categories, essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids, conditional amino acids. The body is incapable of producing essential amino acids. As a result, they must derive their energy from food. Histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valin are the nine essential amino acids. The term non-essential refers to the fact that our bodies can make the amino acid even if we don't obtain it from diet. Alanine, arginine, asparagine, aspartic acid, cystine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, proline, serine, and tyrosine are non-essential amino acids. Conditional amino acids are usually not essential, except in times of illness and stress. Conditional amino acids include arginine, cystine, glutamine, tyrosine, glycine, ornithine, proline, and serine. You don't have to eat essential and non-essential amino acids at every meal, but it's crucial to acquire a good balance of them throughout the day. A diet consisting solely of plant foods will not suffice, but we no longer have to worry about combining proteins, such as beans and rice, in a single meal. Instead, we assess the entire appropriateness of the diet throughout the day. Symptoms you may have if you are having deficiency in essential amino acid. 1. Skin irritation or rashes. These skin diseases are usually the result of a congenital deficiency of enzymes which catalyze the synthesis or transport of specific amino acids. Disorders of amino acid metabolism manifest themselves in cutaneous organs as anomalies of the pigmentation of skin and hair, in structural disorders of the hair, and in some cases in pelagroid symptoms. In patients with congenital structural disorders of the hair it is important to remember disorders of amino acid metabolism and to have amino acid assays carried out on blood or urine. 2. Brain fog. We need B vitamins for healthy nerve and brain function. Three B vitamins are often linked with brain health, B6, B9, folate, and B12. These B vitamins help to break down homocysteine. Homocysteine is an amino acid, however, it has been found to contribute to poor health. High homocysteine levels cause vascular disease and brain fog by elevating oxidative stress. You can easily get enough B vitamins through diet, so you don't need to supplement. 3. Anxiety. Tryptophan is an amino acid related to serotonin. Perhaps you've heard of serotonin before, it's the neurotransmitter related to sleep, appetite, regulation of mood, and fatigue of your central nervous system. Serotonin is naturally produced in the body, and having less of it is seen as the reason you have anxiety and depression. Serotonin is often the target of many medications for anxiety and depression. 
Pharmaceutical labs use all kinds of drugs to manipulate serotonin in the body to help you manage your state of mind. Drugs used to regulate serotonin are called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors (SSRIs). 4. Sleeping disorder. Sleep-wake disorders lead to pronounced alterations in specific metabolic pathways, which might contribute to the association of sleep disorders with other psychiatric disorders and medical conditions. These alterations are mainly related to changes in the metabolism of branched-chain amino acids, as well as glucose and lipid metabolism. In insomnia, alterations in branched-chain amino acid and glucose metabolism were shown among studies. In obstructive sleep apnea, biomarkers related to lipid metabolism seem to be of special importance. Future studies are needed to examine severity, subtypes, and treatment of sleep-wake disorders in the context of metabolite levels. 5. Digestive problems. Being unable to break protein into amino acids and absorb protein will make you have poor gut health, which ultimately leads to numerous digestion issues. 6. Slow recovery after strength training, muscle soreness and muscle loss. If you're chronically not eating enough protein, as in multiple days or weeks at a time, your body will turn to your muscles. Slowly, it will begin to break them down as a source of amino acids, explains Francis Largeman Roth, RDN. Nutrition expert and author of Eating in Color. Essential amino acids are the building blocks of protein. They help build lean muscle mass and repair and grow cells and tissue. So, if you're lacking amino acids, you will likely experience a loss of muscle mass and strength. 7. Compromised liver function. Liver is an important organ for protein synthesis, degradation and detoxification as well as amino acid metabolism. In the liver, there are abundant non-essential amino acids, such as alanine, aspartate, glutamate, glycine, and serine and essential amino acids, such as histidine and threonine. These amino acids are involved in various cellular metabolisms, the synthesis of lipids and nucleotides as well as detoxification reactions. Understanding the role of amino acids in the pathogenesis of liver and the effects of amino acid intake on liver disease can be a promising strategy for the prevention and treatment of liver disease. 8. Low immunity. Both oral and parenteral feeding studies have established convincing evidence that not only the total protein intake, but the availability of specific dietary amino acids, in particular glutamine, glutamate, and arginine, and perhaps methionine, cystine, and threonine, are essential to optimizing the immune functions of the intestine and the proximal resident immune cells. 9. Impaired growth. Lysinuric protein intolerance LPI, is a rare metabolic disorder caused by a defective Kashanic amino acids Ka, membrane transport leading to decreased circulating plasma Ka levels and resulting in dysfunction of the urea cycle. Short stature is commonly observed in children with LPI and has been associated with protein malnutrition. A correlation between LPI and growth hormone deficiency GHD, has also been postulated because of the known interaction between the AA arginine, ornithine, and lysine and growth hormone GH, secretion. Symptoms you may have if you are having deficiency in non-essential amino acid. 1. Negative impact on reproduction and fertility for men and women. 2. Slowed wound healing process. When to see your doctor. If you are exhibiting the signs of amino acid deficiency, it's a good idea to check in with your doctor. He or she will be able to rule out any confounding factors that may be causing your symptoms and administer an amino acid deficiency test that pinpoints the missing amino acid. The next step is to identify the cause of the deficiency and adjust your diet accordingly. Having adequate amino acid levels is crucial to combating illnesses efficiently, facilitating proper metabolic functioning, and making sure that you feel your best.